Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a book review on two books that I am obsessed with. They are both by Rachel Hollis and if you haven't heard of these books by now, you are living under a rock because they are have been so prevalent on I feel like just social media and just everywhere. Um, they are insanely good books and they are these two right here girl wash your face and girl stop apologizing cannot say enough good praise about these books. They have literally been life changing for me. Um, so I really just wanted to share these with you and encourage you to read them if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started with the first book that came out, Girl, Wash Your Face. And th both of these books are kind of, they follow the same path. So the title of this is called Girl Wash Your Face, but there's also kind of like a subtitle, I want to call it, up here at the top. And that says, stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be. I, I love that so much. We as women tell ourselves so many things that we believe to be true, but really they are lies. And whether it's social media, society, family, friends, so many people and platforms are speaking to us about what we are, not who we are meant to be. So what I really love about this book is that each chapter is titled after a lie that we tell ourselves. So I want to just read a few of these um, that spoke to me personally. Okay, so here are some examples of the lies that Rachel Hollis addresses in this book. The lie, I'll start tomorrow. The lie, I'm not good enough. The lie, loving him is enough for me. The lie, no is the final answer. The lie, I should be further along by now. The lie, I need to make myself smaller. The lie, I'm a terrible writer. The lie, I am defined by my weight. And the lie, there's only one right way to be. Now that, those are just a handful of the chapters in here. There are plenty more. I maybe said about half of them. But those are the ones that really stood out to me personally. And what I love about this book is she takes these lies and then tells you why they're not true and how to overcome that. How to make yourself not believe it anymore. Which is something that I know I struggled with and I'm sure a lot of you struggle with it as well. And it really is just so helpful to hear someone say this. I will say that when I listened or when I read these books, I actually listened to the audiobooks. It is read by the author herself and I think it was a brilliant way to get this information. Um, it really felt like she was my best friend just talking to me like, girl, wake up and get to it. Um, so I definitely recommend listening to the audiobooks, but they were just so good that I had to buy the hard copies as well because there are things in here that I'm going to reference back to probably for the rest of my life and I really wanted to be able to just, you know, pick it up, flip through it and not have to like listen through it every time I wanted to see it again. One of the things that I really do enjoy about this book is yes, it addresses the lies that we tell ourselves, but it also gives you some um, examples of how you can overcome it. Now, she does just talk about her personal experience, so of course her way is not going to work for everybody. But I really like having that personal touch to it, saying like, you know, it's not just a how-to from someone who has never done anything. It's a how-to about someone who has changed her life for the better 
and she's sharing her methods on how to do that. And when I listened to this book, I just, I was so inspired. There have been a lot of things in my life that I've wanted to change and to work on to just make myself an overall better person. And for some reason, I just, I couldn't find the drive to do it. I had the want, I wanted it so bad, but I just, I couldn't find that drive. Rachel Hollis helped me to find that drive and I have started to make those changes that I've been wanting to for forever and I am so thankful to her and to this amazing book. Okay, so on to her second book, Girl Stop Apologizing. And the subtitle for this one is A Shame-Free Plan for Embracing and Achieving Your Goals. I bought this book immediately after the first one. Um, uh, again, I did listen to this on audio first, and then when I finished both of them, I did purchase these hard copies. Um, but this is such, it's so amazing, just like the first one. Um, this one is broken into three sections of the book. So part one are excuses to let go of. Um, some, some of these examples I'd like to share with you include, I'm not a goal-oriented person. I don't have time. I'm not enough to succeed. And I'm terrified of failure. Those are some of the ones that really stood out to me personally. Then we go into part two, which are behaviors to adopt. Some that stood out to me are choose one dream and go all in, embrace your ambition, ask for help, and stop asking permission. And also learning to say no. The third part of the book is skills to acquire. And there are six skills. I'm going to read them all. They include planning, confidence, persistence, effectiveness, positivity, and leadership. So really this book is a guide on how you can make your dreams a reality and how no matter how big your dreams are, you can do it. Don't be afraid of what anyone else says. They are not in charge of you and your happiness and your dreams. It's not their dream, it is your dream. And you shouldn't apologize for wanting it. You shouldn't apologize for saying no to someone because you'd rather take that time to work on yourself and your dream. This book is just all about stopping the excuses, moving on with your life, and finally taking control of it. For me, I have wanted to write my own book for years. Like, seriously, years. I've wanted to do it since I was in elementary school. And there was something always stopping me from really getting started on it. I have ideas for books that I think would be really awesome. But for some reason, I just, I couldn't start it. I was afraid to start it. And honestly, both of these books just really put things into perspective for me. Like, why am I afraid? Who am I afraid of? Is it me or is it society? Um, so both of these books helped me immensely with that. I have started my own book. Um, I am going to be doing a weekly writing vlog to help me keep on track as well. So you can look forward to that. Um, but that's not the only place in my life that these books have helped me. For example, um, I've also been wanting to maintain a healthier lifestyle as far as um, the foods I eat and my movement, um, which is something else that she touches on in these books is, you know, physical activity, just being healthy in general. And I am so grateful to Rachel Hollis. I honestly don't know what I would do without her. It sounds kind of silly, but if you've read these books, then you probably understand how passionate I feel and how thankful I am to her. If you haven't read these books, stop watching this video. Go and order these on Amazon. Um, just a few days ago, they were both on sale for $11 and change, which is amazing, especially since this one just came out. Um, please, please go get it. Um, it will only help yourself. Right. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that um, 
I've kind of, you know, pumped you up if you have some goals of yourself that you would like to get accomplished. Um, if you've been thinking about purchasing these books but just hadn't really decided, I hope that I can, you know, encourage you to actually get them. And if you have read them, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in a comment to see if they were as impactful to you as they were for me. And if you enjoyed my video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of my community. And I would love to check out everything that you have to say on these topics as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.